Hey guys, Kenneth here and welcome to my movie corner and today um, I know a lot of people will say from the title You already did a video like this. I know but to be honest I wasn't really that satisfied with my 3d collection video So I ended up deleting that video and I decided you know what? Let's redo it this time make one that I'm really happy with plus I got a lot more 3D Blu-rays, so I'm like, yeah, let's do this. Now, um, this isn't in any particular order. I'm just going to show the movie and then talk about my thoughts on it and my thoughts on the 3D. Some of them I still haven't seen because I have like almost 50 3D Blu-rays. I, I don't know. I, I haven't counted them. But yeah, this will be fun. I do have one pile. I'm, after this pile, I'm going to cut and then show another pile and then so on and so on so yeah let's start with toy story um is this a 3d that you need not really um got it from goodwill it's it's an interesting way to watch the film but it's not like one of my favorite 3d blu-rays um i do own it because you know toy story it's a classic um and the 3d you know there's like one scene where that duck um, swings and it almost feels like it's coming at you directly like that that was pro probably the only pop out um, there's some decent depth here and there but it's not like but it's not like a 3d that you're gonna be like oh you haven't seen toy story unless you've seen it in 3d probably because this wasn't meant to be seen in 3d but yeah um toy story uh I, i'm glad i own it finding nemo um Again, even though this movie was not meant to be seen in 3D, might as well be because this 3D is just incredible. This is probably the way I like to watch this movie. Um, sure, again, not a lot of pop-outs, but the depth and just like the detail and the, th and the effort that was put into the 3D. Sorry, my, my family is talking in the living room. Um, but the depth that they put into it and the effort just shows that yes post conversions can actually work and in fact if you look at this 3d it almost looks like you're watching it at an aquarium i, I actually showed this to my grandparents when when we moved and we got the 3d tv and they were like wow that looks amazing but yeah this is one that if you do want to check it out if you if you can't find it and you have the means to watch a 3d movie I do recommend you seeing this one in 3D. Monsters, Inc. This was a recent purchase, so I haven't seen it. Um, let me know, is this like a good 3D? Um, I do like this movie. I love it. This is probably like top tier Pixar. But I definitely need to see if the 3D is good. Toy Story 2 in 3D. Um, again... Not like a 3D you really need, but it's an improvement over the 3D in the first one. There's a lot more depth, and there's some pop in it. Like, there is a scene in the opening where it's in space. When you lean forward, it almost feels like it's moving. I thought that was a neat effect. Um, again, decent 3D, but it's not like you need it, but it's still an amazing film. Cars 2, um... I fucking hate this movie, but yeah, this is, um, how can I say it? 3D is amazing. This is one of those 3Ds that I was just like, wow. I guess this was actually meant to be seen in 3D, but I don't know. I guess the movie itself is just not that good. And I do like the other two Cars movies. Uh, Toy Story 3. Um... I think I've seen the 3D in this one. It's 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 a good 3D. Um, again, not a not like a must own. Like oh, you haven't seen Toy Story 3 unless you've seen it in 3D. But it's a good 3D. And the movie, you're gonna if you didn't cry at the ending, you have no soul. Um, up in 3D. Um, again, the opening is probably one of the saddest things in an animated film. I don't want to talk that much into it because I do have a video dedicated to this film planned. Um, I do 
think I'm going to release it next month on the on the 15th anniversary of this film. Um, so look forward for that. I actually announced it on the community tab. So yeah, if you are interested, let me know. But yeah, the 3D, again, good 3D. Um, most of the Pixar Disney movies that are in 3D are good 3Ds. That's when, that's when Disney gave a damn about physical media. <laughs> um, Finding Dory. Um, haven't seen this 3D. Um, I like the movie. This is a sequel that shouldn't have existed. But at the same time, I'm glad it exists. Um, let me know. I do expect the 3D to look good because, you know, the 3D of Finding Nemo looks good. So let me know. Is this a good 3D? The Good Dinosaur. This is a film that I used to hate when I, when I first watched it. After a rewatch... I came around to it. I actually do think it's quite underrated. Um, um, I've seen some scenes in 3D. which has good depth. It has pretty good depth. Um, I definitely need to finish it in 3D to see if the 3D is as good as the opening. But it's a good 3D from what I've seen. Inside Out, I haven't seen this one since it came out in theaters. Might as well do that. I actually do have a review for this one planned and um next month or e either late either late May or early June I'm going to re be reviewing this one. But yeah, um again also haven't tested the 3D. Like I said, there's still some that I haven't seen the 3D because some of them I recently got them. Monsters Universe or Monsters University. I can talk, I can talk. Um, it's, it's another good movie. Not as good as the first Monsters, Inc. Again, another one I recently got. So, I definitely test the 3D. I actually do want to make a video on the best 3D Blu-rays, either animated or live action. So, let me know, are you interested in me doing that? I know I have to separate them because if I made... Uh, a best 3D Blu-rays, both animated and live action. Like ninety percent of that least of that list would be animated. <laughs> um, Brave, another underrated Pixar movie. Did it deserve to win best animated feature? No, not really. I think Wreck-It Ralph was the better movie, but it's not that bad. Here's one thing: if this came out today, this would have been considered woke, because the way this depicts the man, you're like. Yeah, this would be considered woke if it came out today. And again, I fucking hate that word. The Lion King, my favorite animated movie of all time. Um, I do... I have seen this in 3D. It's an interesting way to see it. Um, like, especially since this movie was not meant to be seen in 3D. It was, for a 2D animated film, this was as good as it could have gotten. Um, it's, it's, um, yeah, it's an interesting way to watch it. Um, Moana 3D, it's another one that I recently got. Um, I know, I know I've got, I had it in the other video, but the thing is, that one was busted, so I had to get a new one. This was actually the, one of the last purchases I, I did from Disney Movie Club. Um, so this is brand new. So I definitely need to see the 3D. The movie itself is pretty good. But I've heard the 3D is actually amazing. Zootopia. I've seen this in 3D. Wasn't like blown away. But it's it's a decent 3D. It's not like that bad. It's not like a bad 3D. But it's not like, oh my god, you, ha you have to see this in 3D. It's decent at best. Oh, this one is amazing 3D. Ragged Ralph. Um, this one. When you see the first five minutes in 3D, the depth of this film will blow you away because this depth, the 3D and the depth is just amazing. And this is actually my second favorite Disney movie. Um, Tangled. I actually did see this movie in 3D when it came out. Um, again, 
this was one that I wanted to see. You know, I also had it, like, for years. I do want to test it on 3D because when I got this, I it was when 3D TVs were hot, were the hot thing. Um, I wanted to get a 3D TV, but I never got one. So I'm like, I should I should get a I should now that I have like a 3D monitor and a 3D TV, I'm like I should watch this in 3D to see if it looked as good as I remember. Then again, I was a dumb kid. Bolt again. These aren't in any order, so I'm pretty much put a I pretty much put a pile in. Grab, grab movies at random. Bolt. Underrated Disney movie. Another one I recently got. So, I haven't really tested it. Again, a lot of these I have tested. Some of them I haven't yet. But, yeah. Pretty, pretty good underrated film. And I think my brothers actually love this movie. Iron Man 3... I'm hearing that despite being post-conversions, the MCU movies that are available in 3D actually look quite good. Um, I don't know, I haven't tested them, I'm still marathoning the MCU movies, I'm still like on phase one. But as soon as I finish with the Avengers, I'll probably watch this in 3D. Oh, I actually heard this one looks the best in 3D. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy. At first, I used to think this movie was un was overrated, but now I I, I fucking love it. <laughs> Doctor Strange. This is the only way to watch the IMAX scenes physically because unless you have this on 3D, that's the only way to watch the IMAX scenes. Um, unless you have Disney Plus, but physically, if you want the IMAX the IMAX scenes physically, you have to see the 3D version. I don't know. I don't know why they why Marvel used to do that. Like they also did that with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. X-Men Days of Future Past. By the way, I'm um, starting next week. I am going to review the X-Men movies leading up to Deadpool and Wolverine, so look forward for that. But this might be my second favorite X-Men movie. Just putting it just spoilers for my ranking. This my, this is my second favorite X-Men movie. 3D, I've seen some scenes in 3D, looks phenomenal, and given that this was actually shot in 3D, what do you expect? It, it, obviously, it'll look phenomenal. Second call. Wait. Oh, wait. Wait. <sighs> Sorry, I just forgot to drink between breaks. Um, Hugo, my grandparents actually love this movie. I bought it because, you know, I'm trying to watch as many Scorsese movies as I can. I've heard this one is actually one of his best movies. I've only seen, like, two of them, but I own four of Scorsese movies. It's just, like, I was in Mexico and, you know, I was living with my brother, so watching R-rated movies was almost out of the question. But according to my grandparents, the 3D looks great. Um, this was Scorsese's only movie shot in 3D. Um, Hotel, Hotel Transylvania, I also got this when it came out, um, haven't seen the 3D, again, I know, there were some that I got because I wanted to, to get a 3D TV, I just couldn't get them, so, yeah, uh, again, if you have a 3D TV, let me know, 3D, is it good? Um, so here are the Shrek movies. I've only seen the first Shrek, or at least parts of it in 3D. The 3D of this one, you don't need it in 3D. Um, it's not like a, it's very flat, and it's like almost like it was like phoned in. Like I get it, this movie was not meant to be seen in 3D, but like I said, Finding Nemo was also not meant to be seen in 3D, and then 3D was amazing. I got it because DreamWorks usually does great with their 3Ds. You'll see in this column that I have a lot of 3D DreamWorks movies. But this one was kind of a letdown. I mean, I love Shrek. I love it. But 3D was not that good. Um, I do expect this one to look good because it was actually animated in 3D. These ones, I don't know. Oh, wait. 
um, Puss in Boots. This actually looks amazing in 3D. I did see it in theaters in 3D, but seeing it at home, I was like, oh, it looks better than I remember. This. Wow. Holy shit. It looked amazing. Sorry if when I'm swearing, I'm trying to lower my voice. It's just my parents will hear me and say, don't swear. Um, Adventures of Tintin. Very underrated um, animated film. And again, I did see this 3D. I did actually test this 3D. Looks amazing. Sure, it's not like there's, there aren't many pop-outs. There's like maybe one where the villain points his cane and it, it looks like it's like he's pointing it directly at you. But aside from that, I think the 3D in here is more immersion-based and more depth than pop-outs, which actually helps because I like when 3D movies don't feel like a gimmick. And this one actually feels like it's there to immerse you into the film. Uh, Monsters vs. Aliens. I have actually tested some scenes in 3D and the opening, it just lets you know that you need to see it in 3D when that guy is just playing ping pong and the ball is like bum, 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 bum directly at your face. You're like, yeah, this needs, this is like, you should have seen it in 3D because in, in 2D it looks pretty stupid, but in 3D you're like, oh... And there's another scene in Susan's wedding, wedding where one of the guests just points her finger like this. And in 2D, you're like, what are you pointing at? But in 3D, you're like, oh, it's like it's coming off the screen. <laughs> Megamind, let's just get this out of the way. This is the only Megamind movie that you need to see. That fucking waste of time of a sequel. Let's forget it exists. Let's just forget that it never happened. But, yeah, this is another one where 3D is not treated as a gimmick. It's actually there to immerse you. A couple of pop-outs, like there's a scene where a police officer points the gun at you like this, and it's coming off the screen like it's, like, the police officer is pointing it at you. But, um, this is one that, again, it's more depth, and it has the pop-outs. It's actually the perfect marriage of depth and pop outs and like i said dreamworks actually do does 3d pretty good um how to train your dragon and how to train your dragon 2 in 3d um i don't have 3 in 3d because that didn't come into north america i do have 3 but in 4k but this actually my my mom is actually watching it right now in the living room i've seen the 3d looks incredible especially the flying scenes this one also looks amazing in 3D. Uh, to me, I don't know which one is better in 3D because both I love. Kung Fu Panda and Kung Fu Panda 2. This one, for a movie that was not meant to be seen in 3D, looks amazing. This one looks good. But it's more like there to immerse you into the film. It's not like, oh look, stuff coming out, out of the screen. But it has some pretty good depth. That's the thing I like about with my 3D movies is that's the thing I look for. Depth, not just, oh, look, it's coming at you. Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. Um, there, there's some okay depth. And there's like a one cool pop out where uh, Blackbeard points the sword at you like this. Um, aside from that... It's a good way to watch the movie, but you're 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 okay if you own it on 2D. Tron Legacy. Okay, so when you watch the scenes in the real world, you don't need the 3D glasses. Um, you can actually ditch those. Once you see, once you get into the game world, you're like, yes, this needs to be seen in 3D. Also, like, why couldn't we get a direct sequel from? For Tron Legacy. Why do we have to get Jared Leto for the sequel? Why? Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. This is a very subtle 3D. Um, this is more like, again, this is more depth based. And the 3D is more subtle. There's like one pop out where one of the, where Caesar's son, when he's born, he just points, he just raises his hand like this and it's almost like it's coming out of the screen. That's it. And there's like one cool effect when it's raining and almost 
will make you think that this that your ceiling is leaking. Other than that, again, it's there, but it's subtle. And that's what I like. It's not treated as a gimmick. It's subtle, actually. X-Men Apocalypse, this is actually one of the best 3Ds I own. Um, if you have it in 3D and 4K, it's actually a win-win well, situation because this was actually shot with 6K cameras, but it was also shot in 3D. So either you have the 4K or the 3D Blu-ray, you win because it was shot in both. And I actually do like the movie on popular opinion, the Amazing Spider-Man movies. Um, I've heard this one, I, I heard, again, this one is a subtle 3D, but I've heard this one is one of the best 3D post. Okay, guys, last column. Transformers Dark of the Moon. Um, this is actually my second favorite Transformers movies. Transformers movie after Bumblebee. Um, I actually really like this movie. I know there are a lot of people who don't like the Transformers movies. I like the first three. Yes, even Revenge of the Fallen. But yeah, this, the 3D. Another one that it's just a banger. Because there are a lot of scenes that your, your eyes will pop out because how good the 3D is. There's some that it doesn't look that good, mainly because it was 50-50. This was shot 50% in 3D, shot 50% in 2D, but it still looks good. Even though there's some times where the film grain can be very obvious what was shot on three digital 3D and what was shot on film. But again, it can be forgiven. Transformers Age of Extinction. Um, actually, this is the only way you can watch the movie with the IMAX aspect ratio. Um, like I said in my 3D video um, as to why I collect them, the, the, the IMAX scenes are not available on the 4K or the regular 2D Blu-ray. Um, it's actually on the, on the 3D Blu-ray where the IMAX aspect ratio is available. And Sure, it does have some of the frenetic aspect ratios of The Last Night, but it's not as frenetic as The Last Night. I'm just going to say it. The movie itself... Uh, um, again, not a good movie, but the 3D... Amazing. Fred. Um, would you be interested in... Fred, would you be interested in me covering this movie? Because I actually do want to cover this. This is actually a movie that shouldn't have bombed. Because I would have loved to see a sequel. Unfortunately, it bombed. So, we're never going to get a sequel. So, life can be unfair. Um, the Hobbit trilogy. These were another ones that were shot in 3D. Haven't seen them because I haven't seen Lord of the Rings and a friend told me that, um, my friend Joey told me that I should re I should watch Lord of the Rings before, um, what is it, before The Hobbit, so I'm pretty much following that advice. Life of Pi. Um, this, from, from what I've seen, because... I've, I actually fell asleep, not because the movie was boring, it's just I was kind of tired when I put in the movie. I just had a very rough day that 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 day. I had, I had it pretty rough, so I put it halfway, and I was like, not in the mood, so I went to sleep. But from what I've seen, 3D, again, another banger. In fact, here it says, um, here it's, you can read it, the next Avatar. I, I can believe that. Pacific Rim 3D. This is another one that's a post-conversion, but it actually looks amazing. Um, movie itself, I don't know, I just thought the characters were way too shallow and forgettable for me to give a damn. But maybe I just wasn't in the mood. I could give it another watch. Who knows? Mad Max Fear Road. This this is just one of the most fast-paced movies I've ever seen. Like, you feel like you don't win, that you're, you're, you're not wasting any time. And, yeah. Another one that was post-converted in 3D. 
But again, if you put actual effort into post conversion, it can actually work. And this is another one that if you see it in 3D, you just can't unsee it. The Martian, God, Exodus, Gods and Gods and Kings. Um, this was when Ridley Scott liked to shoot on 3D. Now he doesn't shoot on 3D, but he used to want to be the next James Cameron. Um, speaking of James Cameron, Avatar and Avatar The Way of Water, this is probably my favorite 3D disc. This one I definitely need to test it. Sorry, I just need to do something, so I'm pretty much flying with among these. Okay. Prometheus. Um, Despicable Me. Um, if you want to hear my thoughts on this film, I will leave a link right here to it so you can see my review. But I do like it in 3D. Like I said, I talked about the 3D in my review, but it's the perfect marriage of pop-outs and depth. Um, the Lorax. I like this movie. Despicable Me 2. Minions. But like I said, I'm reviewing these. Secret Life of Pets. And Sing. So yeah, that was my complete 3D Blu-ray collection. In the comment section below, let me, let me know. Do you collect 3D Blu-rays or you're not into 3D? If so, what is your favorite 3D disc? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this, please drop a like and subscribe. And make sure you follow me on my social media. The links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.